YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to Baseline to Baseline, where I'm covering the top 25 basketball players of the class of 2021. This show can also be known as, oh, don't go to school there. Don't go there. I'm not trying to pick your school for you, but I'm trying to help you and to give you all the information that, that I know that hopefully may uh, help you. Today I'm covering um, a kid out of Texas by the name of Damian Collins. He's listed as 6'9". He's um, stretch four, stretch five. Um, the key to this kid's game is his versatility. He's very versatile. He's athletic, he's long, he's wiry, but he's strong. He's got great hands. And I'm not a doctor, but it just looks to me like this kid may even grow another inch or two. I like the way he moves around the basket. He's got an array of shots around the basket. I think he could even score around the basket on people his size. A lot of times you're matched up against smaller people, but I think that uh, he wouldn't have a problem um, scoring around uh, people his size around the basket. He also scores basically at two levels very strongly, and he's a strong ball handler. And for his size, he can put it on the floor, he can bring it up the floor, but he can shoot the ball out to 17 or 18 feet with good touch. Um, I um, like him as far as He, this kid just seemed like every time I've watched him, and I haven't seen a whole lot of him, but it looks like he's just gotten better and he's gotten better. And the sky's the limit for this kid. Um, when he gets ready to make his college choice, he's going to need to pick a school that is going to cater to him, especially offensively, and enhance his versatility. Because this this kid has got such a high ceiling, he could end up, I think, being one of the best out of this class because he's only going to keep getting better. I like his hands, too. Uh, I think he can catch the ball in the post. And, and what I used to uh, do, and uh, one of my coaches who used to work with the, my kids, we always worked on fundamentals. But the thing that he did that I liked was that he had a kid, we had great big hands, and he would have him create space by just palming the ball and keeping whoever's guarding him in the post at bay. And that was good. I always, I always had my kids to uh, catching the ball in the post, not always trying to score it to back to the basket, but facing him. Facing him, make him make a decision. Do what you're going to do. Fake. Do, do a lot of moves, but I'm not going to get in that. But this kid is versatile. Um, uh, I think, and nobody does this, and they should. I actually think this kid, around the basket, not only with his variety and array of shots, I actually think a coach should actually work on this kid shooting a sky hook in the post. I think Giannis, when he plays out on the floor and do, does all that, I think it's great. When he posts, I think it's great. But Giannis, he's long. He needs to shoot a sky hook. And I think this kid may grow two more inches. He's a great defender. He's a shot blocker. He runs the floor like a deer. And like I say, he handles the ball with. And just looks like the kid loves the game. I mean, just it seems like he's got a lot of enthusiasm. But versatility is, is the key to his game. Uh, I think he will expand his range because, you know, as far as shooting threes and he'll do everything a la Anthony Davis. But this kid has got that type of versatility. Uh, recently, I saw where he had just cut his uh, school list down to five. And on that list, he had Kentucky, Texas, Texas Tech, Kansas, and uh, I forgot who the other one was. Kentucky, Texas Tech, uh, uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma was the other school. And in that uh, list of schools, uh, you know, I look at uh, what Shaka Smart is doing in Texas, especially with his last uh, few big men. And they've been impressive, and they've gone on, and they've gotten drafted early. 
The only thing is they they were drafted more as defensive players, shot blockers, rebounders. You need a coach to promise you that he is going to take you to the next step offensively because you're that type of player. And of the schools you picked, uh, uh, I don't know. I'll tell you, you got to look at Kansas, but, you know, Kansas, the NCAA is breathing down their neck. They shouldn't be breathing down anybody's neck. They ought to wipe the slate clean with everybody. Texas Tech, Chris Beard's a great coach. Uh, he coached the championship game in the Final Four. His teams have made strides. When I looked at how they played, when, uh, when I first started watching them, I didn't like what they did offensively, but they were a little better uh, last year, and it seemed like, okay, they are trying to score. But uh, I think he might develop you. Another school that's not on your list, and they just had a kid leave, Precious Ochoa, uh, he was able to go in and out, and Hardaway let him go in and out. And I think that would be a school you might want to look at. Also, Oklahoma State uh, in that area since you're looking at Oklahoma. Lon Kruger wouldn't be a bad coach. you got you got a big decision to make, uh, and uh, it's hard to go wrong, but out of the – the group you have, you have to make sure who's going to develop you. But take a look at those other other schools, and I don't know if they're recruiting you. Uh, they, my Memphis body and Musa Cisse this year, uh, but uh, you all basically could play on the floor together if he's not one and done. But uh, you've got some good schools, or you got some great schools on your list. But uh, you, the sky's the limit for you. Uh, the next player, and good luck with your decision. The next player we're going to look at, he's already made his college decision, and that's Kendall Brown, a 6'7", small forward. And he uh, made the decision to go to Baylor. And that's a pretty good choice. You know, I don't know what all other schools he was looking for, but Baylor's a pretty good choice. Um, he's 6'7", small forward. Uh, I think he could be eventually be a shooting guard. Uh, he's very athletic. He's strong. He's quick. Um, the best thing he does right now is put it on the floor and get to the basket. He's a slasher, more so than a, a shooter right now. Uh, he's capable of making a three, but that's not his thing. He's going to have to be able to do that. He's going to have to be able to expand his, his range and stretch the floor and get out there. He's going to have to be able to uh, be able to create separation moves like all kids. Uh, the kid, Damon Collins, he's going to have to work on separation moves to get his shot off. Uh, uh, he's a good ball handler, moves well without the ball. He can play two or three, but he needs to work on his shot and be able to score more efficiently at all three levels. He can really develop into a special player at the two or the three position. He just needs to get in the gym and get the shots up, as many shots as he can, work on his ball handling, getting his shots off, work on shot separation. Like I always say, step backs, pullbacks, crossovers, hesitation. Uh, jerks, <laughs> I used to call them shake, but uh, all of that stuff. Uh, and I like a lot of these players, they are getting a lot of individual workouts and I've watched some of the workouts and I'm, I'm really impressed with the cats who are putting in work with these kids because I used to do that all the time. And I've, I've been really impressed with what they're doing. But Kendall, since you've made your choice to go to Baylor, um, I won't say anything. I, I, I don't know who else was on your list because when I saw that you had chosen Baylor, I said I'll stay away from it. You 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 have only made a verbal commitment, but I think that's a pretty good choice for you. Uh, I think that uh, they do a pretty good job of recruiting. Um, they've got a good team coming. A good team coming back this year, and they're going to probably lose probably four or five kids off of this team. But most of them will probably be guards. But uh, you made your decision. I think it was a good decision for you. I think you'll be a great player. Just continue to get in that gym, get your shots up, shoot at least a thousand a day. Keep working individually, whoever you're working for. But I'm hope hopefully this can be helpful. I'm trying to keep you out of the transfer portal and from being frustrated. Remember, I'm trying to keep you from being crippled by a coach. Uh, so. 
Good luck with your decision, and you can uh, please hit uh, like and subscribe and hit the bell and you get a ding. You can also reach me at uh, on Facebook at Baseline to Baseline, and I'll be happy to answer any question that you have. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.